today we're going to be taking a look at building some more fractions, and we're going to be looking at something called mixed numbers. All right, so let's take a look at this fraction. That I'm going to write. I have the fraction three halves. Three halves. So you notice something is different about this fraction. We say, wait a second, the numerator is larger than the denominator, and for all the fractions we've seen before, the numerator has been smaller than the denominator. So let's see how would I build three halves for my fraction strip. So here's my hole. I have one half, I have two halves, and now I have three halves. Whoops, let's get a little bigger. Now I have three halves. So I can make three halves. Now the only thing that's different about this fraction from other fractions that we've done is we see this fraction is actually greater than one. This fraction is actually greater than one. So mixed numbers. are greater than one. Next numbers are greater than one, okay? This right here, because we have, this fraction is actually called an improper fraction, three over two, three halves is an improper fraction. It's improper, something is done improperly, it's not done right. So if this is an improper fraction, it's not right because it has a bigger number on top than on bottom. So we usually want to take improper fractions and write them as mixed numbers so that they would be proper again. So how will I do that? Well, you know what I can do? Here I have my one hole and I have all these, I have this extra amount of fractions. I'm going to replace these two halves because they're equivalent to one. I'm going to replace that with my one hole. And now you see I have one hole and I have a half. I can write that like this, one whole and one half. So three halves is the same as equals, equivalent to one whole and one half, one and one half. This is my mixed number, one and one half, mixed number. This is my improper fraction. Let's look at another example. Okay. What if I had instead of three halves, what if I had, what if I had five fourths, five fourths. Okay, so here, let's, let me find my fourths. I know I have more tiles here at school than you guys have at home, right? Because you have four fourths and I have one more for five fourths. But what can you do at home? If you get up to four, you can always trade it in for one. And here's my five. So I can remember this is four fourths. Here's one more to make five fourths. So this would be, if I was going to write it out in my number sentence, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, when I build it out, that gives me five fourths. But that's also the same, remember I can trade these in. This is one whole, I'm gonna trade these in. I have one and one fourth left over. One and one fourth. So I can rewrite this improper fraction as a mixed number of one and one fourth. So today you're gonna to practice with your number tiles, building some mixed numbers building some improper fractions and then writing them out as a mixed number.